President Bola Tinubu's recent condemnation of acts of kidnapping hitting our nation like a breath of fresh air in a room that has been filled with despair. Kidnapping has become an actual business plan in the country for many people and we need to treat these people responsible for these crimes that are despicable as terrorists that they truly are. We don't want to hear about rehabilitation, we don't want to hear about excuses, we do not want to hear about forgiveness plans. So when President Tinubu boldly declared that the kidnappers are terrorists, I was happy. I was happy to hear this. It's a rallying cry. It's a rallying cry that it's important that we hear kidnappers are terrorists, not kidnappers are bandits, not kidnappers are broken men who don't have an option, not kidnappers should be forgiven, not kidnappers should be given amnesty program or rehabilitation program. No, the president has finally called a spade a spade and I'm thankful for that. It's good. These criminals are not just petty thugs. They're terrorists. What's a terrorist? A terrorist is someone that preys on innocent lives, terrorizing communities, ripping families apart, creating havoc and making communities unsafe. We all know that school, a lot of schools in the north they're no longer safe kids are going to stop going to school it's terrifying every day it's kidnapping kidnapping i mean come on mose bolato on social media said this anyone that bears arm illegally against the state for whatever reason or grievance should be treated as a criminal whether they are from the west east or not end quote but President Timur did not just stop at those words. Nope, he backed it up with a commitment to address the root cause of kidnapping, poverty, unemployment, social inequality, right? These are the breeding grounds for criminal activity. And yes, we have to tackle them head on. Like investing in education, jobs creation, social welfare programs. It's not just giving people handouts, it's doing those things. It's about giving them a fighting chance, a way out of desperation into a better future. There's a deeper issue here for sure, right? And a lot of people have a lot to say. I saw this comment on social media. I thought it was very interesting. There's no need ascribing more than what our law says the criminal code and the criminal procure procedure act including other related criminal laws have done justice to it in our problem lies in the enforcement with weak and corrupt institutions who lack the will to do what is right end quote exactly there's no need to the criminal code criminal procedure everything is inside there is weak lack of this no enforcement and i'm happy to hear that president Tribu has also promised though that he's going to improve the welfare of judicial officers and the judiciary plays a crucial role in this why am i bringing this up right they're the ones that uphold the rule of law they're the ones that ensure justice happens it's not the president that goes out there and says hey hands up it's not me it's not you it's the it's the law enforcement officers they have been neglected for far too long we know during nsars that people said oh that the police officers should join the nsars movement and ensure that you know they're advocating and they're fighting for their own rights as well i mean it's been a conversation that people haven't had for far too long their salaries are outdated their equipment is outdated their housing is outdated everything is outdated this never justifies corruption or bribes that that a lot of them collect but these things need to be addressed and i'm happy that tinubu has pledged to address these issues and step in them it's a step in the right direction words we got to see action. We got to see concrete steps being taken to dismantle these kidnapping networks. These perpetrators need to be brought to justice. We need to know exactly what is happening. And it won't be easy, but with strong leadership and a united front, I think we can actually see some sort of ease from this really weird, uncertain, anxiety-filled time. But more so, the question still is, what's happening with the kidnappings and the kidnappers when people are released? I want to see those kidnappers arrested. And I've said this before. We got to see the kidnappers arrested. Like, you know how ESCC comes they read they line everybody up they say these are the kidnappers these are the people yahoo boys oh yeah let's see them line all the kidnappers up these are the kidnappers i'm not seeing them getting arrested enough maybe i'm missing it comment down below let me know your thoughts let me know if you think that some of the words that president Tinubu has dropped is going to provide some sort of ease and also progress into making sure that nigeria becomes a safer society for you and i all right guys that's it for the scoop i'll see you guys next time bye